Good morning. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Today is another day, another dollar, euro, pounds. Today, guys, we're going to go through another live trading session from A to Z. A lot of volatility coming up ahead of the U.S. election. A lot of earner reports, matter of fact, so a lot of opportunities in the market. So we're going to go through another live trading session from A to Z where we go through the picking of the stock, the analysis, execution of the trade, and all the other trimmings on the side. So, as always, there's something new to learn in these videos, so do stick around. So, let's jump right into it, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so a lot of opportunities coming your way in the next couple of weeks ahead of the US election, a lot of volatility, and you're going to be able to take advantage of those as a day trader. Also, Europe is going under second lockdown, so that's causing some volatility to happen in the stock market. That also explains the reason why I'm wearing a hat indoors, just because everything else is closed. So, let's jump right into it guys, let's pick this stock, let's analyze, let's execute execute the trade and most importantly let's just go over Mondays and Tuesdays trades for a minute and then we'll jump on to today's trade which we'll do together so on Monday guys it was snapchat that was also part of the game plan that I shared with my team which I do every morning and on Tuesday it was Harley Davidson so on snapchat guys we came out with 1500 profit and on Tuesday it was 900 almost a thousand profit on Harley Davidson so Hopefully we continue this trick for the rest of the week. Um, let's jump right into it, guys. Let's jump right into the computer. And as always, smashy, smashy, you're bound to learn something new, as always, in these videos. Let's do it. All right, guys, so this here's the game plan. We've got 20 minutes before stock market opens. Um, I share this game plan every morning before the stock market opens, and a lot of you are familiar with this. You've seen it in several videos similar to this, or you get to see it on Instagram. Now, guys, let's focus on this highlighted field here. You can see I called out some patterns. These guys already know how to trade those patterns. Now, we're going to be focused on six and also hog. Hog is the same stock we made a trade on yesterday, and six is a new stock. So let me explain to you how I found those two stocks, and let's go trade them in a few seconds. So in regards to Six Flags Entertainment, as you can see, it's already down by 10%, almost 10%. Now, obviously, there's a reason. The reason is always going to be news. And in this case, Six Entertainment released an earner report, and the earner report isn't really that great, causing it to drop down on value. Now, our job is to react to that volatility. A lot of you will, will have tutorials on my channel where you can basically look at how I find earner reports and whatnot. Hog is a similar stock that had an earner report also yesterday. However, with this stock, guys, um, this is the second day. And because it gained 20%, the chances of this giving back some gains today is very high. And also you can see here, it's giving us signs that it wants to give back some gains. However, guys, this pre-market activity doesn't mean that it will perform that certain thing, especially when that earner report for that stock was smashing. Obviously, it's an emotional stock as well, Harley Davidson, so it's going to attract a lot of buyers. But my job is to react. And obviously with time, guys, when you're, you know, wired into the market and wired into these plays time and time again performing the same pattern you know you get better at this and, and, and you start getting experienced with this that you know the plays and the behavior that occurs and your job is to react so let's take those two stocks and let's get to the most important thing guys and that is the execution of the trade getting in at the right time exiting at the right time handling emotions and most importantly risk management all right, and I'll show you some chat room results by the end, hopefully, once we execute this trade. And don't you forget that smashy smashy, as always. Let's do it, guys. Here we go with six flags. Now, initially, this was supposed to be a short position, but we expect a reversal. Now, this here, guys, is the resistance. I couldn't enter on market open because the spread was so big that it would have taken me straight into a big loss if I had entered. And that's something that you need to be aware of if you're trading CFDs. When it comes to actual shares, then you don't have to worry about spreads. But I'm ready, guys, to enter a short position as this stock is starting now to go sideways. And potentially, it will drop back down this way. Now, for me, I'm ready to take a loss, a 40 cents loss here, if it does occur. That's my risk management. But once we break below this, I'm entering a short position at 2013. Or it looks like it wants to start dropping. There we go. Right. I'm in short, guys. There's a thousand shares entered. I'm entering another thousand, making it two. 
Now you see the way I went straight into the last guys, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to a spread, but that's okay, 250 is fine. All I need is, you know, a few cents to get it back. But we now dropped below that support level, and here we go, ready to break below 20. Now, another thousand shares added, guys. I would have faked a lot of people out um, this trade. And this is going to drag on for a while. Now, this is a trade that, pray to God that you don't experience. Just because it's, it's going to drag on. It's very choppy. And the spikes like this, the fake outs, where it stomps a lot of traders out. It's very dangerous. But anyways, there was no signs of entry here. Especially when this was not breached. So right now, guys, we're just focused on reading the price action. Even though it's taken us a bit long. See this, guys? So it's going to do this, then this, then this, 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 this. That's usually the trend with these stocks. So let me pause this. Well, not pause this. I'm going to speed it forward and I'll see you guys in a minute. We're now $1,000 up. I'm going to walk away gradually. So 1,000 is gone. And I'm just going to wait for it to drop a little bit further. Okay. It dropped a little bit further. Taking 1,000 off. Okay. Here we go. One more. <laughs> it's been 30 minutes in this trade, guys. The worst trade ever. But we came out on top. Let's see the chat room result. So this here is the chat room guys so far. Um, a lot would have got caught out at the beginning, but I'm glad to see I did give I did give a little signal that I entered a short position earlier. But I'm glad to see a lot followed me on that. I usually don't do that. Um, but it was a difficult trade. I'm glad to see some greens here. Well done, guys. Good job. Green means profit, by the way. Let me type it in. Phew. All right. So that's today's trade. Good job to all the greens today. And to those that took an L on any other trade, not just this trade. Tomorrow's another day, guys. I'm happy that I can do that for you. Well done. Well done, guys. So, that trade lasted us longer than expected. 30 minutes, guys. Very slow volatility, but big spikes. You've seen the way I was going from green to red, green to red, but I stuck to it. Pattern. Most important thing here, guys. Pattern told me exactly what this stock wanted to do. And obviously, a lot of traders would have got stomped out with that big spike. I couldn't enter on market open just because of... That, that spread that I had with a CFD broker, and that's, I guess, the con of a CFD broker, is that you get big spreads sometimes with such stocks like this. But it doesn't matter with actual shares, you won't have a spread. So I thank God for that, I guess, because it stopped me from actually entering on market open. But again, it didn't actually give me any indication of entry. Um, but the big spike that happened, guys, I used that as a key level, as resistance hit. And usually when resistance hit, now you have something to work with. We use that as a key level. When it hits it and rejects it, usually it makes a newer low and a newer low and a newer low. And it breaks key levels below. And that's when I entered. And again, I drew out my expectation with that. It was a little zigzag. And we came out with a thousand euro profit or pounds. And that's good enough for the rest of the week, guys. So it was a difficult trade. Expect a lot of volatility like this in the coming weeks with the stock market. All stocks, majority of other stocks. Um, the market is crazy lately, a lot of opportunities. So this was a short position, which meant that I was betting on the stock to fall. And that's exactly what happened after this video. You can have a look at that stock and you've seen it done exactly what we wanted it to do, which is a pattern four. That is what a pattern four is. Now, obviously you need certain things to exist for that pattern to form. 
and you will see that repeating itself time and time again in the stock market guys so i'm gonna leave this video here um look the stop loss was not used here but i had risk management and i was betting on that stock to do exactly what I wanted to do. Obviously, I reacted to, not just predicted it. I reacted to what I thought it would, what I, what I thought it was doing, and I seen that behavior time and time again. And that's the power of experience, guys. So next couple of weeks going to be very volatile. I won't be active in the next two weeks. I'm going to be working in the background, obviously, with a lot of you. Um, but you'll see me after, just because I want to take advantage of that volatility and I want to be crisp. But I'll always be active on Instagram, guys. So make sure to follow me there. And also the course and Discord is in the description for a lot of you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you again. As always, smashy smashy if you found some value and enjoyed this video. And I'll see you again for another video, guys. Peace.